Quantum mechanics is the theoretical basis of modern physics that explains the nature and behavior of matter and energy on the subatomic level. The term quantum mechanics was first coined by Max Born in 1924. Quantum mechanics explain how extremely small objects simultaneously have the characteristics of both particles and waves. The wave particle duality, the wave function highlights the wave like nature of particles in quantum mechanics uh, even though particles are also localized. This means that a particle can be described as having a wave like spread making its probabilistic rather than having a definite position. And this will lead us towards the idea of wave function. Wave function in quantum mechanics, a wave function describes the quantum state of a system. Often it is denoted by Greek letter psi. Physical significance of wave function psi. Physically psi gives a measure of the probability of finding a particle at a particular position. Hence a term called position probability density denoted by P of R and T is de defined by the product of the wave function psi and its conjugate psi star. So P of RT is equals to psi star psi, psi or we can write it as mod psi square. Now the dimension of psi. Uh, in 1D mod psi square is equals to mod value of probability by mod value of length which is equals to 1 by L. So dimension of psi in 1D is L to the power minus 1 by 2 and in 3D mod psi square is equals to probability by volume which is equals to 1 by L cube. So uh, the dimension of psi in 3D is L to the power minus 3 by 2 a wave function psi of x is said to be well behaved if it satisfies these conditions. The conditions are psi of x must be single valued everywhere within the range and psi of x and its derivatives will be continuous and psi of x must be single valued. The wave function needs to be single valued and uh, psi of x must remain finite or vanish at x tends to plus minus infinity. What is of wave function? The first property we are going to discuss is orthogonal property of wave function. If psi1 of x and psi2 of x are two wave functions and if they satisfy this property that integration a to b psi2 star x psi1 of x dx is 0 then this wave function psi1 of x and psi2 of x is said to be orthogonal in the interval a to b. And there is a, uh, another property which is called the normalization property. And so if the wave function psi satisfies this property that the integration psi star psi d tau is 1 or when we integrate psi star psi over the entire space and we get 1 we say we call that the wave function is normalized. And when the wave functions are orthogonal and also normalized we call this type of wave function as orthonormal functions. Okay, so this was our discussion on the introduction of quantum mechanics and wave function and on our next class we are going to discuss about uncertainty principle. Thank you everyone.